Dixie Decker here, Springfield, Missouri, and we're gonna talk about hiring an assistant. And it's super scary. I have had some great ones and I've had some terrible ones. So here's some fun tests. It doesn't matter what business you're in, but your goal is to find out if they're willing to take the task to the end zone to get it done. And so kind of a fun one is super simple. It's order a fruit basket or a fruit arrangement for XYZ, like a title company or a banker or insurance company or for someone's birthday, a friend of yours. It doesn't matter, just pick someone and see what happens. So the challenge is this. It's 10 a.m. you ask the new assistant to do this or the um, I like to do a working interview so you could do this on your working interview day and you ask them to get this task done by 2 p.m. Like it needs delivered by 2 p.m. here's the things that can go wrong and here's where you can determine success first off when I say I want like a fruit arrangement it's one of those pretty things you know like edible arrangements I'm hoping they're gonna ask what do you mean by a fruit arrangement or if they're gonna send like a fruit basket from 1985 that isn't pretty. So those are the questions. We want them to ask questions up front. Um, I wanna know if they're gonna be able to communicate with me well. And then the second thing is if they get online, I know usually if they get online about 10 a.m., Edible Arrangements is gonna say they can't deliver same day by the website. But what I know the truth to be in our area is if you call Edible Arrangements, they will say no problem, we'll get it there by two or 3 p.m. And normally it's about three, two o'clock's a little fast, but sometimes it happens. So my hopes is this, they come back to me and they say no problem, it's done. Or they come back and they say, well, it can't be delivered today. And my point of this whole thing is I'm able to pick up the phone then and call Edible Arrangements and ask them, can this be delivered today? If they say yes, that is a teaching moment for your assistant or a moment where you know you have to let them go because they didn't exercise every possibility of getting that fruit basket delivered for you on time, which means they're probably afraid to make phone calls and they only wanna use the internet for everything. And I'm telling you, the phone isn't dead today. The phone still works and the phone still gets stuff done. Um, even though I know most people text and do internet stuff, there are ways to accomplish things by using a phone that you can't do any other way. So I wanna know if they're scared of using the phone and if they're willing to get my task to the end zone correctly. The only other thing that I hope they might come and say to me is I called, they can deliver it, but instead of two o'clock, they can get it there by three o'clock. I hope that's okay. That is okay but they at least communicated. There will like, so you don't call your client and be like, hey, how are you doing? And they are thanking you for a basket that they haven't delivered yet. <laughs> like you're like, man, I don't know if they got it. Um, so anyways, that's kind of a fun test. I don't care what business you're in. I don't care if it's student housing, if it's uh, running a print shop, if it doesn't matter. Your task to test someone does not have to follow what you do for a living. It can just be a test to see what they're willing to get done.